Hi everybody, Pastor Bill here. We're still working on this uh, Satoff tractor, this S370 Mitsubishi. That's what you really should call it, is a Mitsubishi, because Mitsubishi makes a lot of these tractors for other people. Especially if you're trying to look for parts. If you need parts for these tractors and you can't find it, you can find them through other manufacturers or other companies that use this very same platform as a tractor. Um, what have we accomplished so far? We made a we got this motor running. Uh, we got a new dash panel put into it. Uh, we got some of the idiot lights working. We're gonna we're gonna tinker on those and do the electricals and fix those things up. I I'm really sure we're gonna get that all squared away. That's not a problem. Uh, we got the three point hitch going up and down. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done. A lot of stuff done so what are we going to do on this episode on this episode we're going to take this uh the engine away from the transmission we're going to split this tractor in half just right dead in half and pull it away why are we doing that because the clutch it has clutch let me, uh, let me make this straight. It has clutch, but the clutch pedal, we went over it in the last episode. If you haven't seen that, in the very first part of last episode, we, we looked at the clutch pedal free play and everything, and it goes right to the floor, and it starts to press down the, the release springs on the clutch plate, and it doesn't go far enough before it bottoms out, and, I mean, it bottoms everything, and and doesn't release the clutch. So what does that tell me? One, the clutch is probably completely wore out. The fingers on the clutch are probably wore out and the throw out bearing on the clutch is probably completely wore out. Cause you gotta have all these things working together and making some distance up to get, cause there's no free play left. It's just, it's, it's run out. But the clutch is still engaged. So today we're gonna pull this baby apart might have to have a good prayer lord heavenly father uh just bless me lord in this bless old pastor bill here father and uh, allow him to be able to smoothly take this thing apart and put it back together in jesus name we pray amen all right let's get started on this thing All right, first thing we want to do is we want to make three points of contact here on the other side and here. We want these no weight to be on the on the axles. Reason being, when you pull the the back section away, these little tractors have a tend to flop sideways. So if you support it off the off the ground with no weight on the front suspension then it's going to be rigid that's going to be your 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 point that's not going to be moving so we're going to do all the moving with the back axles we're going to roll the back axles i got a really big tree back there we'll probably hook hook a couple things to it put some tension on it and then pull this tractor apart but first we're going to get this thing uh, sitting on jack stands Rear half on something that will roll that way, roll towards the big tree. Like a transmission jack, I just happen to have a really nice uh, Harbor Freight uh, motorcycle jack, and I think that will be uh, sufficient enough. So we'll get that situated. I'll get you put in a different spot.
almost fell. hard time getting that piece off so I may cut this rubber boot off put the old vice grippos on it order me a brand new rubber boot or get one from the shot anyways. This is the return. The good thing is it's above the transmission. So there shouldn't be no uh, fluid in it. And this one here is not above the transmission, but it should be above the oil. I'm thinking if we get this off, we should be okay. And getting the bell housing off and then a taking off the... Um, throttle linkage and on this side it's just a cotter key let's see if I can get my big fat finger right there right there that cotter key so tomorrow I'm gonna get out here and do that all right before we can separate the tractor we have to re remove the um, the dash panel and pull it away because the electricals will be on this side of the tractor. So we'll need to undo the ground wire and then, that way we have no sparkles. We don't want no sparkles. And then we're gonna have to come onto the other side of the tractor and remove the fuel linkage. right here so when we remove that it'll separate this shaft which operates the fuel injection pump via this right here this is you know the throttle so we want to undo that that way it it pulls away with the tractor if that makes sense and then the last thing we do before we take the bolts off the bell housing is remove the hydraulic lines. Just in case there's hydraulic fluid there leaking out. We should be okay. They're higher than the transmission. So we should be okay with that. We probably wanna make sure we pre-prime the pump once we take the oil out of it. When we get ready to put it back together. So let's get busy. So. We so we can get the, oh, I gotta show you the clutch. Move you over here so you can see.
that's not it. So here's the brand new throw out bearing that pushes the clutch in and out. It's pressed on, smacked on somehow. Here's the brand new disc. It's a cute little thing. It's like seven and a quarter inches. Brand spanking new. You still can get parts for these things. I do got a bunch of yellow jackets hanging around. And here's the brand new pressure plate. So what I'm thinking on the track that we have now, the throw out bearing is wore out and the fingers, if it's even this type, the fingers on this are wore out and the disc is probably wore out. The facing is probably wore out. We may have to check the flywheel to see what's going on there, but we're going to get this in today. At least that's the plan. Keep that all together. All right, let's get started. Let's start with getting that uh, dash back apart. All right, miscalculation here. The fuel tank bracket and the battery bracket, which is together, is mounted to the transmission. So we can pull all that part away with it, but I have to disconnect the fuel and maybe more of the electricals. I'll probably take some of the weight off too. My bad, I should have looked.
fluid's nice and clear, but it still has a little bit of water in it. But we're gonna run it like that for a while until we drain it. We wanna make sure it goes through all the hydraulics on the back real good. Get it all lubed up. And then we'll put some brand new hydraulic fluid in, which I got plenty since I bought five gallons of the expensive junk. Okay, so this is my contraption I got going. It's unbolted, everything is ready to pull. I already got some tension on my little ratchet strap and we're just gonna pull. And when it's done pulling, we're gonna take up some more slack and pull some more. So remember, we got a transmission, it's a motorcycle jack underneath down here and that's holding the front end of the tractor from falling i hope uh this is should be done with two to three guys but this is fixing things with pastor bill all right so let's put you in a good spot to see the tractor separating all i did was put a little bit of tension on it let me zoom you in right, you let me know if Looks like the front end's got to come up more. Put a couple pumps on it. Run that. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and inspect this clutch. So, by looking at it, we can see that the rivets have been rubbing somewhat. And there's quite a bit of metal gone off of that part right there. Let's compare it to the new one. So we got about a sixteenth of an inch difference. Let's compare it what it looks like against the new one also. So you can see that the new clutch is actually a, a heavier duty clutch. Springs are encapsulated. This one does have more rivets around the, the end there. 
let's look at let's look at the pressure plate we see that it's got a big ridge right there that thing's been sitting this that's almost a sixteenth of an inch gone out of that but i don't know if you can see that let me look through the viewport there right here it dips way in this this clutch is shot completely shot so these springs were so far down that that even when you push the clutch in it wasn't going to open it up let's compare that with the brand new one so you can see the brand new one it's definitely so you can see the brand new one it's definitely springing out almost to the edge there brand new one no no ridge it has fresh grease on it so it means they put old parts back in when it stopped working but it has a brand new i mean brand new throw out bearing but we have a brand new throw out bearing also so i'm not going to put a slightly used throw out bearing back in it we're going to put the brand new throw out bearing in it all right so the flywheel looks fairly good All right, here's the, the throw up bearing on the, the part that holds it. And we're gonna, this is the center pin or the upper link pin uh, linkage holder, which I have to put on the tractor. But it seems to be a pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty good, uh, uh, except for that. <clears throat> All right, and let's see if we can't get a couple good smacks out of this thing. Am I even rolling? Yes. Bingo, baby. But we have a problem. We broke that piece. So, oh, it was already cracked. See that? Huh. Oh, it was brazed together. Somebody already fixed it.
putting the, the other throw out bearing on there. I mean, I can weld it, but it may break again. All that little thing does is holds the spring that pulls this thing back. That's it. It's on there. The key is just baby taps. Tight. That's better than it was. Pastor Bill fixing things. All right, this is the grease I'm using. Extreme duty, 3% Molly grease. This is for heavy equipment. This is, it's even got pictures so you don't get confused. This, this clutch may not see the light of day until it gets replaced again or it really does go to the trash heap. So we want to make sure there's ample grease on all these parts. We also want to put grease on the pilot bushing. All right, this is my little secret right here. This socket here is what I'm gonna use to line up the uh, pressure plate to the clutch disc going through the pilot bushing. And the way that's done is this diameter is almost the exact same size, the inside diameter of the teeth on the uh, 
the disc. See, fits in there nice and perfect. This side is the same size as the pilot bushing. So when we put this on there, actually it goes this way. That will keep me lined up. Two of the bolts on this are have shoulder bolts. I don't know if you can see that. And I got marked on the, the flywheel where they go. So we're going to put the two shoulder bolts on first. And the shoulder bolts lines the clutch up precisionly. You want to wiggle that thing in, make sure that thing goes in smooth. Lines up with the. If not, play like hell getting that transmission spline lined back up. Okay, we're gonna attempt to put this thing together. I got a big digging bar for the back and we're gonna keep the ratchet straps kind of taut and keep it lined up. You let me know what's getting off track without pulling the, the front end of the tractor off the jack stands.
Hmm. That was a battle. Oh. Okay, I spent all day doing this clutched to no avail. We're no different than we was before. I think the clutch fork is not in the throw out bearing. So that means I gotta take the tractor apart. So here I go again. Okay, I got the throw out bearing back out and you can see there's wear marks right here and I'm sure from rattling and everything else over the years, the forks that push on it are also wore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up a little weld on this. This is hardened steel I don't know if you can even see it. It's hardened steel and it should take weld really well. All right, here's the finished product. We raised it out a good eighth and a half. You know, what was it? It's not quite a quarter inch. And then I pulled that collar out. It's hot still right here and put a little spot on it so it don't go back. That thing was, it's pressed into place. So it's not going nowhere. I took some measurements on the tractors uh so that the forks have wore out so much that it just doesn't reach no more so we extended it and it should work uh, with my measurements are right they should work so let's go over there and check it out mm. All right, here we are putting the tractor back together for the second time. Ugh. All right, 
Sorry about the, the video. <laughs> My battery went dead when I was putting it together the second time. But let's check the, the clutch now. Before, before it touched, it was facing all the way down flat. Now, I got one inch of free play before it touches. And it's pushing the clutch in. And I'm pretty sure I can get it to where it hits right here. We'll get a little bit of adjustment out of it. But at least we got this off so I can see why it's got so much. I don't know, maybe we need to fill it up with grease. <laughs> we'll take it apart and take a look at it. But we need to get this thing put back together. But the clouds are moving in and it's getting ready to rain. So I'm going to have to button it up for today. <laughs>